I don't care how many dead, dry bones you've got in your life. Everything in your life could look like dead, dry bones. But if you begin to prophesy to those bones, the Word of God, there's power in your mouth. Amen? So you can affect your future by how you talk about yourself. You can affect your future by how you talk about your future. How you talk when you're in trouble, when you're having a trial or a tribulation, has a lot to do with your future. When Jesus was coming into the time of the crucifixion, he told his disciples, this is recorded in John 14, the time that I told you about is, is at hand. And he said to them, I'm not going to be talking with you much more. I think that's interesting. It's John 14, 30. I'm not going to be talking with you much more. Why would he say something like that? In Isaiah 53, it says, like a lamb led to the slaughter, he opened not his mouth. What's that all about? I never understood that until I understood this. Even Jesus, when he was in a time of intense pain, he chose to just not say anything. You know why? Because many times when we're hurting, if we open our mouth at all, we're likely to say the wrong thing. So don't do what you normally do. As soon as you have a problem, run to the phone. Now you are just not going to believe. It's happened all over again. I'm telling you what, every time I get a penny, the devil takes it. I am so sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired. I hate my life. What do you think I should do, Mabel? <laughs> Why don't you stop asking somebody that don't even know what they should do, what you should do? <laughs> Go get a hold of God. Now I'm going to shut my mouth <laughs> and not say anything unless I can say something good. Just choose sometimes to be quiet. Amen? 